Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another Walk Through Wednesday. This week, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Instead of being in front of the camera or having someone in front of the camera, I'm going to be behind the camera and I'm going to try to give you a little bit more detail, a little bit more insight into this Keystone Hideout. This is a 2021 model. This is the Hideout 27 RLS. It is 6,790 pounds. So pretty light, actually. It sleeps six people. Its total length is 31 feet, 11 inch. That is from right there all the way back. It's an aluminum exterior, okay? It has tinted safety glass all the way around. You have friction hinge entry doors. So basically that just means that these bad boys have a little bit of friction when you're opening and closing them. You don't have to worry about them slamming open or someone slamming them shut, which is nice. Um, you have a six gallon gas electric water heater on this. So you can either use gas or you can use electric. You do have outside TV hookup, which is super nice. Solid steps. These are a, a big, big plus in my world. They are just more stable, especially if you have knee, back, hip problems, you're getting older, whatever, they're great. And they do actually adjust. So if you're on an uneven surface, you can lift one leg higher or lower than the other to adjust. Up here at the front, I'm going to bounce back and forth a little bit. We do have a powered tongue jack. Makes it super easy for hooking and unhooking. It even has a light on it so you can see at night. You have powered stabilizer jacks on this. Again, they're stabilizer jacks. You just use those to help stabilize and take a little bit of this out of the camper, but those are powered. Nice big powered awning that does have LED lights, outside speakers. As you see, we've got a big pass-through storage up here at the front. Let's see, what else can I talk about here on the outside? Nice big extra large grab handle, again, making it easy to get in and out. And something that we've been overlooking a lot that's a, a cool little feature they've added is a little dog leash hookup out here. I think that's pretty cool. On the back, you are backup camera prepped. This is the cold mountain package. So this is not rated four seasons, okay? But it does have a heated and enclosed underbelly in it. So you are able to stay out a little bit later in the year or go out a little bit earlier in the year and not have to worry about your pipes because you are protected somewhat. But like I said, it's considered their cold, what did I say, cold mountain package, not a four seasons package. That's so important to know. A few other details, more around Keystone and Keystone Hideout is you do have a three-year limited structural warranty. They put a big old sticker right there on it, but we don't talk about that a lot. They also come with the one-year limited base warranty. Some other cool features that Keystone does as a company is all their wiring is actually color-coded and unified across their brand. So it makes it super easy in the event something happens that it can be diagnosed and fixed fairly quick and easy, okay? You have the true fit slide construction. And I actually have a cheat sheet here with me, but I'll talk about that when we get inside. I'm gonna pull that cheat sheet out. Uh, let's see, I talked about the outside speakers, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look. So you'll notice throughout that we do have blackout shades in all the windows. Makes it nice for privacy, lets you sleep in, all that good stuff. You have end tables on both sides of the sofa here. This is a jackknife sofa, so this will turn into a bed. It's one of the places for your sleeping of six. Uh, so I guess those would be nightstands at night and end tables during the day. You have some storage up above. And then this is Wi-Fi LTE prepped. So you see that little thing there? Uh, I actually just had this installed on my camper, and I haven't even had a chance to use it yet. I'm going to do a more detailed video. We have a video on the website on how to hook it up. But basically, you buy a wine guard gateway, and on this gateway, it has a place for a SIM card. And you can either use a wine guard SIM card and buy one of their packages, or you can go through your cell phone provider and you can buy a package. If you don't use the SIM card, the gateway will essentially act as a Wi-Fi booster at whatever campground you're at. So if you're ever at a campground, you're getting a weak signal, that can help because it's using the actual antenna. But if you want actual Wi-Fi, like you're boondocking or something, can you use that SIM card? So that's cool that it's already prepped. 
basically it was super simple. The installation video was maybe three or four minutes. You pull it out, cut some wires, hook it up, boom, you're done. More on that later. We've got our recliners here, and this is gonna be directly across from our entertainment area. So a couple of other things I wanna talk about while I'm sitting here and I'm comfortable. One, central vac system, which is located right there. This thing's awesome. You've got a hose and an attachment for that. You drag it out, you sweep, you put it up when you're done. You don't have to bring the broom, the dustpan, all that stuff. Leave it at home. Uh, this does feature, um, let's see, where else did I want to go with this? Oh, electric fireplace. So it will, trust me, I have one. It will take the chill out of the air in basically this entire camper. And the great thing is, is you're using electric only. You're not using your propane, which is super nice. Uh, I think I forgot to mention when we were on the outside that it is a six gallon gas electric water heater in this. So you can use the gas if you want, which helps heat that water up a little bit faster, or you can use the electric if you want, which will save you gas and it just heats up a little bit slower. Typically when I'm out camping, I just use the electric. I don't use the gas. Sometimes when we first get there, if the wife wants to take a shower, I'll go ahead and kick it on uh, gas to help heat that up a little bit quicker. Now, more about the interior and stuff. I guess why we're here, we'll go ahead and talk about the entertainment area. So as you see right there, we have our Bluetooth stereo that will work with your interior speakers and your exterior speakers, which is pretty cool. You got your TV there. Up above, you've got some additional storage. The refrigerator is a 12-volt, 10-cubic foot refrigerator so what's great about this being 12 volt is it is going to be on while you're going down the road to your campground so you can put your groceries in here you don't have to worry about them getting hot that's it you got plenty of space in there um and it's nice that that is a 12 volt system it's also great if you plan on eventuality of adding solar panels you are solar panel prepped on this you just plug them in uh but that's nice because if you're boondocking your refrigerator is going to run no problem at all you'll notice our ac unit here on the top that is a 13.5 thousand btu ac you do also have a 30,000 btu furnace guys i'm telling you though this time of year when it's just chilly out you're not even going to need the furnace that right there your electric fireplace is going to do the trick for you but you've got that 30,000 BTU furnace if you need it. Over in the kitchen area, we've got a 17 inch oven. We have a three burner stove. And this thing here actually acts as a backsplash, which is nice. So when you're not cooking, you keep it put away. You've got extra countertop prep space. But when you are cooking, you fold that back and it's a nice little backsplash, which is pretty cool. These are one piece pressed molded uh, countertops. So nice, sturdy, no seams. You've got a big stainless steel kitchen sink with a detachable, it's hard to do one handed, with a detachable stainless steel sprayer. All of your key plugs or GFC near water. So here and in the bathroom, those are GFC plugs. So you don't have to worry about any electrocutions or anything like that. As you see, we've got additional storage up here at the top and it's backlit. So you've got lights in there, but I think that looks really nice. And if you turn off the main lights in here and just have those on, it gives a really cool ambiance. You've got some additional storage down here below the sink, as well as some cabinets and drawers. What else do I wanna talk about before we go on? I already talked about these, but I guess I should open them up and show you. You have a booth dinette in this. So we are talking about that sleeping six. Here's some more of those additional sleeping areas. So this will fold down into a bed at night, but as you see, it's a nice place for family gatherings, lunch, dinner, all that good stuff uh, during the day. Your windows here along the back, they do open up. So if you've got a nice breeze coming through, you can let that through into the camper. This window will also open up as well as this one here and this one over here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, let's keep going back. Our bathroom, we do have a porcelain toilet. You know, we always mention 
toilets when we do our campers. We're like, Anna has a toilet. But what's really nice with the porcelain toilet is you can use all your normal cleaning products that you use at home on the porcelain toilet. You don't have to worry about it hurting anything. Got our stand-up shower. Does have a moon roof in it, so it gives you that extra height. I'm six foot. I don't need the moon roof, but it would accommodate a much taller person than me. Sink. We do have storage below the sink, as well as a medicine cabinet. Very nice size medicine cabinet. And they provide you an extra cabinet here for your toiletries and towels, as well as the space down below. Our bedroom. We've got a queen size bed that does have storage underneath it. That second entry into here. We have the his and hers closets on both sides of the bed. As well as some storage or knickknacks. I would probably put pillows and blankets and stuff up there. You also have this cool laundry chute. So this leads out to your pass-through storage that we were talking about from the outside or that I showed you from the outside. So you can actually throw all your dirty laundry down there, worry about it when you get home. You do have a wall mount here, or I should say the ability, a backer here, so you can actually put a wall mount and have a TV here if you want. There's your key TV hookup. I do also want to talk about key TV. So not that long ago, when you would hook up cable or a satellite to your camper, any TV in the camper was stuck watching that channel. With Key TV, it's actually smart and it lets you change channels per TV. It's also pretty cool because uh, we were at a campground not long ago and when we hooked the cable up, it automatically picked it up and we didn't have to do any auto scanning or anything like that. The last couple of things, I just looked over my cheat sheet. The last couple of things I wanted to cover was that uh, the true fit slide system so basically what they're saying is is they've overhauled their slides they make it uh less friction they, it's better for leak proof or better for leak protection it's not leak proof you've kind of got to take care of your seals in order for it to be leak proof but it's better for that it's better for um to cut down on friction so that's pretty cool and something that we overlook all the time when we're doing these camper videos it's in my camper and it's very cool. And it's this new blade system they did for their AC. So as you see, this actually moves. It's very hard to see, but there's a little piece up there. And what this does is instead of the old style, it was just slated across and air would come in one direction or the other. And you could turn it if you wanted. But what this does is this actually evenly distributes the air around. So you don't have warm pockets anymore. And by turning this, you can actually redirection where you want the airflow to come from. I think I'm saying that right. So here's our AC. So we know that it's coming this direction. So we're gonna get a lot of air at this one. We could actually turn it and force the air into a different direction, which is pretty cool little feature that they've done. I think I've hit all of the big main points and I've hit a lot of the extra details that we sometimes overlook when we're doing our fast little walkthrough videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. If I missed something or you want more information about something, just leave a comment down below. We'd be more than happy to answer it for you. Or if there's another camper in our arsenal that you would like us to do a more detailed walkthrough like this, just leave a comment down below. We'd be happy to do it. Have a great day.